day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Look at the devil. The devil is envious of us. Uh -huh. we, did, we did the same thing. He, we do it all the time. The same thing he did, but he got kicked out. We got kicked out and we went back in. <laughs> it's like, like, he was no worse than we were, but he didn't get redeemed. He couldn't. Exactly. exactly. He couldn't be redeemed. So he looked at us and go, like, how come we can be? They can get saved and I can't. <laughs> so he's trying to kill us off, too. I think that's why it's so dangerous when, you know, and back to the garden, he said that. The devil would eat dust for the rest of his life. Dust is what man was made from. Oh wow! They're not go there. <laughs> every time we get into the realm, you know, like every time we get into the realm of nationalism uh, or even racism, we, we're we're going to where his hey, brother Jack. We're going to his level mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where he has domination. Where he feast on, and and, and we sit down at the cardinal level. And Pastor Taylor, if we propagate social, social order, social society. Yeah, we, we traffic there. We and right that's here. what happened with us when we went to. You know, you must give it wrong by this. When we focus on the social order of the United States of America back in the sixties and seventies, we were playing in the dirt. Yeah, yeah. And it became obvious that we were playing in the dirt because nothing lasted. All of that stuff kind of watched. 60 years later, we're still dealing with issues worse than we dealt with them 60 years ago. So nothing actually had changed. So right. as the kingdom came in, the kingdom began to elevate the fight to the spiritual level. Come on now. But things really take place there. I mean, the, exactly. the true warfare is in the spirit. Come on. So we got to get to that guy that shot that dude in the back seven times. And she's like, hey, man, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> you got a problem. You need Jesus in you. You need God. You need to join the kingdom. Hey, guys, I got, a, I got a question. You know, when we say that nothing's changed, um, are we uh, trying to say that that if, in, in order for us to think that something has changed, <laughs> that sin is not going to demonstrate itself anymore? You know, because... See, in my mind, things have changed, but the thing is, is the, the gospel message has to continue to be uh, preached. The gospel of the kingdom we're talking about has to continue to be, be preached because people are being born, you know, and, and the, the, they need to receive the message, you see? So the fact that, you know, like whether we talk about the civil rights movement or any of these other things that have happened out there, some group, tremendous things in the name of the Lord have have occurred, uh, but uh, the, we just don't stop there. I, I, when, when I say that, I, I do, I, I must acknowledge what you're saying and, and, and get, you know, validated. Things have changed. Technologically, we've advanced. Socially, we've changed because we've interacted with each other. But the basic nature of mankind has remained the same for eons, right. even from the fall of the garden up until this point. So what we see is a validation of scripture that says all have sinned and come short of the word of God. Oh, Black people, oh. when they were in slavery or when we were under oppression, were just as corrupt as anybody else was. It's just that they didn't have a chance to manifest that corruption. Mm -hmm. Once the civil rights were obtained, look what we're doing. The evidence that the, in the foundation of the scripture is what we as a people do in the United States of America under this new change of law. Right. What our white brothers did in America, are doing in America now under this new change of law, your heart didn't change, and ours didn't get better. Amen. Why we wouldn't be out there cussing and mfing and being and parking sideways in the thing and having the speakers on, shaking our booties all over the place. We're Amen. Proud in that. So we say, oh, they did so well. Well, we got we got freedoms and liberty to go out and show ourselves as decadent and, and immoral as any other race in the in the country. Because human nature is human, human nature, nature, just as you said. Amen. And I like to pick it back and say that change is not change until something change. And, and that's where we know change. But I'll say this as well. I do think that by the same thing, by the token of the renewing of the mind, Amen. Uh, uh, as yeast affects the whole loaf, the gospel of the kingdom has an effect and is having an effect 
However, I don't think it's having the effect that it should have because I think it's a watered down gospel of the kingdom now. It's been reduced now to, if you just live a clean life, then that's Jesus. Well, it was more than that when he was on the earth. It was more than that when the, when the disciples lived. They turned the world upside down. People saw the evidence of it. So we've now, because we don't live up to a thing, we bring the definition down to where we live and make that the new definition, which I think is incorrect and is, and is not helping us at all. I'll also say that with all the rioting, with all the t-shirts, with all the sit outs and whatever happened, it didn't change the Breonna Taylor verdict. All of them still got acquitted. And since then, there's still blacks being gunned down and killed in the streets every day, still happening. So a lot of that stuff, yeah, is great. But if it doesn't affect human nature, if there's no change of heart, there will be no change in action. Plain and simple. And I and I agree with I, I agree with the elder in that uh, human nature, unfortunately, we were just as corrupt then as we are now. And that's why I think that's what he said. I said I think that's why he said that with the the scripture read is to go and preach the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of Christ, and the fact of the rising again. He said we we faith comes by hearing. And we have to continue to keep preaching the gospel uh, in our families, in our homes, in our cities, and, and, and where else we go. And we do it in the wisdom that Jesus did it too. We don't have to be a Bible thumper. We just need to be able to say, hey, look, there's some good news here. Even when we go through things, we're sitting there saying, God is going to bring me through. That's a testimony. Yeah, okay. So this is what, this is what I'm getting. And you know, I'm, I'm usually the, the slow one <laughs> when we're talking about these things. I am getting the, uh, the feeling that the change that I, I hear us talking about is like <laughs> things are going to get better. I don't see that. Um, what, do you, what do you mean? What I see, that what, I, what I'm getting is there's going to be a, ch the, 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 that the gospel is preached and people will be touched. As a result of that, for Jesus' name, say, we're going to suffer even more. And so in spite of, you know, what we want to see on the ground, all, all these good things happening, I, that, that ain't going to happen. What is going to happen, as long as we do what Jesus tells us to do and preach the kingdom, as Jimmy was talking about, and you guys have been saying, is that more souls will be saved. We will still suffer. Right. Oh, yeah. But we are going to have peace in our spirit because we are suffering for Christ's sake, right. not for uh, things to get better here on the ground. Right. Okay, so that's and, and 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 that's what I guess what I was trying to get to, Elder, about you know change. I think there is change because I think you know we're having this platform not because we're happy with the way things work, or we know that. Things that have to change, and we are re uh, attempting to renew our minds every day. Yes, sir. Um, uh, and, and, and what we are doing now is learning how to do that where we go in the world, exactly. right? Exactly. And, 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 you know, starting at home and then out there in the world. Yes, and so, I, uh, I, you know, again, and, and maybe I'm just kind of seeing the conversation a little different and a little off, uh, which is why, you know, I'm trying to chime in and stuff sometimes, but... Uh, but when, go ahead. When I, when I look at the on an individual basis, we're being conformed to the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every cell, and we consider ourselves as being cells in the body of Christ. Every cell is being conformed to the image of the prototype, who is the Lord Jesus. As yeah. Jesus walked the earth, He showed His prowess concerning His influence over all systems, natural, supernatural, heaven, earth. He says, "All power has been given to me in heaven and earth." Right. This is the system that we are now a part of, where we understand that the way that they treated him is going to be the same way they're going to treat us. Right. Killed thousands, and they cry for his crucifixion. Yeah. I mean, so, so our expectation is that the more you look like Jesus, the more you're going to be persecuted by a fallen system. Mm -hmm. The world system is not going to align itself with the Lord. Right. It is going to fight. That is going to fight Christ just like we did when we weren't saved. We fought against God with everything that was in us. Our you know what? Is God. I, I think the pastor had a prime example this morning. He asked the question. Well, I think his sister said to him, 
uh, you seem to really be taking this um, okay. We shouldn't. We shouldn't react to the world things the way the world reacts because of who he is and what kingdom he's a part of. He doesn't have to be upset and cursing and fretting and talking all kind of trash because he's of a different nature, no doubt about it. And that's what's that's the determining or the differentiation between that. We should not react like the world. And I commend him in that, and even in the fact that it's noticeable. And that's the way it should be. Amen. And I and, and, and that's a and that was that's a very strong point that needs to be emphasized. Amen. But on top of that, I'll say it is gonna change. I read the book. The world is gonna get worse. Oh yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. That Amen. you should be hated of all nations with my name. Yeah, but, <laughs> but but you know, even in that, you have to look at Jesus's ministry, okay? The, those folks that were around when he was there, they were suffering the same yes, persecution. They were dealing with the same cultures, the same societies, you know, uh, 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 mindset. Right. And what he did, because they're all of the devil. Right. So he went about healing all uh -huh. who were oppressed of the devil. Those were the signs that followed him. So the love that we have for these people right. is going to show what signs following because we're not dealing with this natural world. We are to deal with the spiritual world. Exactly. And as long as we keep that in our mind, yes. that's how we reap the heart. Uh, because we deal with the spiritual realm that is controlling this natural world. So we're snatching people from the hands of the devil, the devil. who are experiencing this oppression right. by delivering them by the word of God. Right. And check this out. showing oh. them the love that God has for them. And let me, say this, let me say this real quick, and I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be honest with you. And the darker it gets, the easier it should be to see us. Yes. How are you preaching? Mm. Amen. Yeah, Amen. You know. yep, that's true. Yeah. Did, did you know what the scripture said? That we has made of you a nation of kings and priests? Yes, sir. Priests right. intercede on behalf of the people of God. Our job is to intercede on behalf of the people of the world for yes, sir. to God. Right. Lord, save him. I don't know why. I don't know why he gave me evil that he is, but Lord, rest Donald Trump. I don't know what's wrong with him, but Lord, you know, and I don't want to see his soul go to hell. That's our job. Our there job go, is to bro. intercede on behalf of people that don't know Jesus. Now you know preaching. Right. It, it, now it's preaching. There you go. And y'all know when we first start off in January, Praise the Philippians 3.10, that I may know him in the, yes. in, what, what's the rest of it? The power of his resurrection in the fellowship of his of son. Being called unto his death. They know not what they do. No. Exactly. Give them for they know not what they see. The, the, and and and, yeah. and and the 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 way we reap the harvest is by showing the love of God and demonstrating it Demonstrate. by attacking uh -huh. the spiritual demonic world. Right. We're not to we're not to 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 get caught up into this civil actions or anything like that. I mean, you can be in the midst of them, yes, sir. But you're still preaching you the pre kingdom of God and demonstrating the love of God and fighting the spiritual battle that's got this world in the position that it's in. So not all is going to receive what you have, but there are many that will. There you go, and that's yeah. why, that's why, as a matter of fact, you had to go ahead and finish. Everything you just said also goes along with the scripture you're reading. So here's the next slide. And check it out. Everything that was brought up to a degree is in this next part of the slide. Mm -hmm. Out of how Paul was going preaching, he said that's a manner of how he did it, right? He went to these different places. He preached and talked about the scriptures and about Christ suffering and rising again. And y'all talked about the kingdom, right? Y'all talked about the kingdom. And we're talking about the scripture. Look at this. Here it comes. Finish this up, Brother Adams. Here you go. Okay, 17.6 in Acts. And when they found them not, 
they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying that these that have turned the world upside down <laughs> are come hither also. <laughs> whom Jason has received. Uh -huh. And these oh, all do contrary to the decree of Caesar. Oh, the saying king. that there is another king uh -huh. in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And they troubled the people oh, and the rulers Jesus. of the city when they heard these things. And oh, when yeah. they had taken security of Jason uh -huh. and of the others, they let them go. And look, and they trouble, and they trouble the people. Mm -hmm. And the rulers of the city. Mm -hmm. I've been there saying the gospel, Paul, the church, changed things in the places that they went. They even turned the world upside down. Oh, brother, come on. <laughs> look, look. Rome, Rome. The crazy no man more. in Rome. Crazy man in Rome burned half of the city. They got to blame it on the, on the Christians. Wow. So when you look at this, this what was so awesome about this is Come on. they never went huh? to 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 those who were in leadership of these different uh, uh, colonies and, and, and cities and whatnot. All they did Come was on. reap a harvest. Whoa! And reaping the harvest turned the world upside down. They did. They didn't go to 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 get audience with the king. No. They, 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 they went to grassroots level. You see, and that's another thing. Jesus didn't deal with too many rich folks or too many people in power. Right. He dealt with the downtrodden, the poor, the Come sick, on. the Come maimed. Come on. You and, know, the, the, the hopeless. Hey, look. And, 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 and he went about healing all who was, I can't keep but saying that, all who were oppressed of the devil. Did, did, did you catch the part about uh, the fact that he obviously was talking about the kingdom of God because this guy said that that scripture 7 it said and do the do contrary to the decree of the world system season. Yes, yes. Saying, look, saying that there's another king. Yes. yes. One yes. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Jimmy, it, 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 when we talk about the gospel, we we are gonna cover the whole piece in there. But obviously, no. they, because they got the word key, something told them there's another key. Matter of fact, I, I I like this because imagine somebody. Come on, brother. When when our current president gets on his high horse and starts talking about how great he is, <laughs> someone says. Well, there is a greater king than you all. That is one Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then see what happens. I just, hey, brother, uh, brother Addison, that's the whole thing. That's where we've been. When, when I say we, I'm talking about as a as a I'll, hey as a nation. I'll say that loosely, but really as as Christians, you, you know, I'm glad you said that because I had been thinking this for, for weeks and weeks. You know, that's the mistake that we've been making. And, uh -huh. You know, we're trying to get out here and win this and win that. And, and 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 use the same marketing strategies as the next person and and talk talk about what they're doing wrong and all that you know th th what you just said is what we need to do you yes. know forget about winning the secular thing what we need to do is get out there and and and, and be a part of winning souls okay <laughs> and 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 because that because because no again what does it profit a man to win the whole, to, to, to gain the whole world and to lose his soul, soul. right? Yes, and not only that, but you know, I think, you know, just tell me, somewhere along in there, if I'm, I'm contributing to the, to somebody stumbling and, and, and maybe a part of influencing them to go in the wrong direction, I got, I got some accountability to there, you know? Sure. Uh, and so what we need to do is forget that, you know, these treasures in heaven, not that that's what we should be seeking, because what we should be seeking is worshiping and serving the Lord, right? He gives us those things as a result of, of, of doing those things. So that's what we need to be about. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and again, all this conversation has told me this morning is, is the fact that I've been trying not to get a, be a part of some of these conversations that are out there going on right now. I get it. Those things are happening. But the real conversation is the kingdom. The kingdom. Just stopping the kingdom. Always you know an opportunity I mean? yeah. to to 
interject the kingdom of God. I don't care what conversation it is. Right. If contrary to the kingdom, there is a pause to where you can say, but I know a man. But Amen. I know a man. Yeah. And I, I, I know a king. Uh, and, and you know, or, I'm, or no, I'm not subject to this because no, of the kingdom I'm in. Right. Mm -hmm. so I, I, that's what Paul was doing, right? Because they got this, they, they, they had a conversation that says, this king, there's another king. And even even in his crucifixion in John, there was a see what what uh what is that Pontius Pilate said? Are you a king? Mm -hmm. if, if my king is not of this world. If it was, my servants would fight. You heard that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what he said. In the gospel, mm -hmm. there was a reference to, are you are you a king? Yes. Yeah. He, he said that somebody tell look look at Jesus. Jesus, I like Jesus said. Did somebody tell you that, or did you, you know? <laughs> Do you feel that way? <laughs> you feel it, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, no, yeah, you feel it, man. That's a what, man, huh? And, and, and it's funny, you're about to say, am I a Jew? <laughs> And you don't have to be based on what I'm getting ready to do. Yeah, you're a Jew now, okay? Amen. Hey, you don't have to be a Jew based on what I'm getting ready to do. You do your part, bro. Because <laughs> the end, you don't need to be a Jew. You just need to be a believer. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, you know, the thing of it is, and what was on my mind when I woke up this morning, is that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Yes, sir. Glory to God. I, whether you want to accept him as king or not, it doesn't deny it. He's the only king that rules without the consent of the people. Yes, sir. So the normal people can rise up and kill a king. Who's going to kill Jesus again? <laughs> not happening. <laughs> this man, not happening, though. He's already done that. Right. Because where he is, they cannot go. Can't touch him. He said that, Daniel. You cannot go. And they're asking, where is he going? I like you. I, I, I got like you. I like it when he said, if you be in Christ, <laughs> then you are Abraham's seed. Uh, and, that's right. and, and an heir and according heir to, to the promise. To the promise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, right. you, I'm going to tell you something. If y'all missed that, that was a good place to shout right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every, every cell in my body's hair is standing up. <laughs> hey. All right. So that's why I'm saying. By faith, we are set to change the world. We, Amen. We're, we're set to actually turn this world upside down. Let's do it, brothers. Let's do it. Amen. Let's do it. And that, <laughs> that was on my mind. So where where do we go from here? Are we going to just be talkers of the world, of the word, or doers of the word? Do we need to bring this thing out here to society and move and walk in and, and, and have our being Yes, sir. In this place, yes, sir. in Christ Jesus, we got we we got to spread the kingdom of God. It, 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 it's it's a week that I, I like to share. Living does not go out and living something. If you aren't living, you can't live anything. So it, it's not so much as conforming our external environment to what we think Christianity looks like. We've done that already. It don't work. Uh, but it's us being conformed to His image and being in the midst of them that changes them. Uh -huh. You put living in, right. in a lump, and because it's living. It lives the it, it passes. So what's in you, what you are, is going to transfer to somebody else. It's like yeah, you got going to you're going to get the word. word. We're going then, to preach, preach then. then that's preach. it. That's you it. know, a lot of times uh, we let we let society affect change in us. It, yes. it, it, it changes our lifestyle and our our mode of operation. Our nature, yep. But we should be the change agent always. You know, it should affect our our surroundings just by our presence there. Presence. It should affect change. You know, I think a lot of times what's going on in the natural uh, is also an indication, or should give us an insight of some of those things that are happening spiritually. Mm -hmm. And and I tell you right now, you know, uh, a lot of uh, people because of social media through Instagram and all these different things are being labeled quote unquote influencers. Yeah. And 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 I think that we should be able to take that same terminology and apply it to us as as as, as children of God. The Bible said that uh, that, uh, that if you believe in Christ, then you are the tree. If you be Christ, then you're the children of God. But I think influencers, and we have to we have to have an impact, and 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 we have to have an impact where we are. 
that we're influencing in, in everything we do and how we do it, what we say, how we behave, how we react to yeah. calamities like the pastor situation. All that is an influence on our circles or whatever is going on in our lives. And I think that's a good terminology, influence. And then I yeah. think we can all look in the mirror and ask ourselves individual questions and then say, how am I impacting or influencing the people that are watching me, around me, in my life, I have access to, what kind of influence am I having on their lives? And that and that, and that, that kind of will give us an indication, so to speak, of what we are and maybe where we need to make some changes.